this alley to the West Seattle community. Not only the alley itself, but these beautiful five murals that are hanging in the, the alley itself. We just want to thank the artists who have been a part of this, uh, one of them for the last two years, and two artists that have been a part of this for the last year. Um, all of the murals that you see today, other than this one, uh, Chasing the Dragon, has been painted by you, the community. So this is a community effort. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of hands that have touched these murals and they've created this thing of beauty. So I would like to introduce to you Stacy Sterling. She is one of our muralists. She actually helped the community paint Journey to the Sea in 2018 and 2019. And she's going to talk a little bit about her inspiration and how she helped people create two of these gorgeous murals. Stacy. Thank you. Well, this wouldn't have been possible without you, of course. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I've been professionally painting. Hold the mic closer. Oh, Hello. <laughs> I've been professionally painting and doing my art since college which is almost 40 years now. And in the last few years, I've concentrated on painting about green life in the oceans and what's happening in that environment. And luckily, um, the last couple of years, I've had the opportunity to paint these murals and be part of the West Seattle community and um, teach people through painting and art what's going on in the ocean. So we talk about marine life, we talk about the problems in the environment like toxins and noise pollution and the plastics. So we have fun painting, but we have some serious discussions as well. So thanks to Laura and the West Seattle community for allowing me to be part of this and allowing the community to be part of this history. And I hope to continue. Thank you. Thank you, Stacey. Who are you? Introduce yourself. Um, my name is Laura Radford. I'm the executive director of the West Seattle Junction Association. And I have to say that the joy of watching Stacy was imagine three days in the hot sun in the middle of California Avenue, and she is surrounded by the sea of little people and big people, and she is helping people create art that sometimes they've never even picked up a paintbrush. And what I loved about it, Stacy and I, we talked yesterday, and she said, the one thing that people said is, I can't do this. And she said, yes, you can. Yes, you can do this. And I'm gonna teach you how. And so when you take a look at the murals, Sea Life, uh, Journey to the Sea, one and two, you'll see the love that people have put in these murals from people that maybe have never picked up a paintbrush before. And that is a true inspiration. I also want to introduce next um, Mary. She is the co-owner of West Seattle Arts Nest. And when Mary started putting together the mural idea for, the, for West Seattle, she said, I'm gonna do one mural and it's gonna be this beautiful collage. Well, I have to tell you, people were so excited that they didn't do one mural, they didn't do two murals, they did three murals. And she said people would stand there for hours during Summerfest, gluing on tiny pieces of paper to make this beautiful, iconic West Seattle art. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Mary from West Seattle Arts Nest. Um, I'm Mary Murphy, I'm co-owner of West Seattle Art Nest with my best friend and partner Althea Calagoda. And um, Summerfest is just a really special time, I think, for all of us local artists and as a community. And so when Laura contacted us, and it was hard to believe it had come up, it had already been a year again that we were coming back into it, um, we were brainstorming and we were at one of our meetings and she was just kind of asking about different ideas um, that we had. And I said, well, you know, I was thinking about doing a community mural, something instead of 
you know, as Stacy was touching on, creating things that parents are carrying around and might be, you know, destroyed during the day and they're not really sure what to do with that or create something that's a little more lasting. So I said murals and she just, you know, we were all on the same page and she talked then about the murals that we were creating for West Seattle. And so, um, yeah, the murals that we create are really near and dear to our hearts. As you can see, it's my little one, Rasheen and Audrey's over there. But um, we are really active in um, the community in the outdoor spaces. And so we wanted to base the art on um, local art um, structures and sculptures. And so we have the, for any of you who know, maybe you've seen these out and about, but we have the Schmitz Park um, Crocodile, and we have the Griffin from Lincoln Park, and then Whaletail from Whaletail Park. And um, not only are they artworks, but they're also interactive, which is how we um, like to create art in our space and with the community. And so my kids have been climbing and playing on those structures for years and years. And so um, it was really fun putting them together and getting the materials and just seeing people create um, our vision and see it come to fruition. And so really, um, it didn't really hit me until yesterday because we do all have such busy schedules and we're running around so often, um, is really setting them up and um, installing them here in the alley and really seeing the work of all these, you know, hundreds of hands throughout the community and coming together to create. And that's really what we're trying to emulate in our studio is this process art and this community art. So it's a really beautiful thing for us to be included in and be a part of. And we're just so grateful to Laura and to the West Seattle community at large. So thank you so much for including us. Thank you, Mary.